Shalom, families and brothers. This video is going to be a little different. I'm not sure how, what to start. So, for... going through a lot this season and and I told you about the power of semen retention so basically the last video that I talked about my story about this woman the last story that last video if you hadn't watched that go watch my last video the title is called depression i was talking about people that depress and for money and other stuff and then after that I talked about my story how i lost everything and my life was destroyed because of porn addiction and it caused me to be depressed it caused me to be selfish And I proved that woman wrong. I proved her wrong that I wasn't, that I was the man that protect her, the man that provide for her, that lead her, the example, be the example for her. Uh, mess it up, man. <clears throat> been hard to move on but you know I deleted all her contacts and everything because I can just easily call her and text her and apologize for making her uncomfortable for being selfish because I was being selfish I was only thinking about myself satisfying myself thinking about satisfying only me only me and me, and me, not her, not her, me and me. But that's not how relationships work, man. <clears throat> it's not how it works. You, you can't be selfish. She can't be, like, general. I'm going to talk in general. The woman can't be selfish. The man can't be selfish. They got to help each other out. That's why marriage was made for both of us to work together and you know the last video I talked about that I don't want a man to corrupt her and cause her damage but it was the greatest connection we had bro greatest connection compared to other women I talked to so moving on forward proving my business improving my lifestyle and, you know, yesterday, I was uh, a little sad for that, thinking about her. Tuesday, she was talking with her friends, and then a man was talking to her, you know, like friend stuff. So uh, that's why I got really sad. And I was like... But I know, well, I know that they ain't going to be together because she minor. She's 16. And yeah, what I did was wrong. Pressured her and made her uncomfortable. And now she don't trust me anymore. She don't want to talk like before. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, you build that trust, you can build that trust again. But, you know, I lost. It's not only her, but my family. The, the pornography addiction caused me depression. 
with a girl, you know, going through mental breakdown. And Thursday, driving recklessly is doing reckless stuff and driving recklessly. And my dad says he lost he lost trust on me of driving independently. He lost trust. My truck. Well, I lost his trust. That's the word I was looking for. And. I can't come with excuses and blame him because that's what I did Thursday was blaming other people. And then Thursday afternoon, I was like, I need to get it together. I need to change and fix my life. Call the counselor. Talk with the counselor. And I watched the video Gabar Zacchaeus. And he talked about, don't give up. Do not throw in the towel. Don't throw in the towel. And I, I love you, Zacchaeus. Good bar, Zacchaeus. I love you, brother Kodas. I love you, Elder Ayil. God bless you. Keep doing what you're doing. Elder Kodas has been amazing, man. He's been amazing. They made me move forward in life. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, hold on a sec. I will make a part two. Somebody's calling me.